What is good everybody, today we are back with brand new AEW action figure news. We have a brand new review of a brand new AEW Unmatched Wave. Now we are approaching San Diego Comic Con, which means AEW and Jazzware should be releasing some sort of San Diego Comic Con really soon, I'd imagine. You know, I mean, San Diego Comic Con's a little over three weeks away, three and a half weeks away or something like this. And I imagine that here soon we're going to get the San Diego Comic Con exclusive news. We'll find that out. We will talk about that in the news video. But we also had AEW Unmatched Series number 10 revealed to us. And it's a pretty stacked wave. I'd say the entire wave wave is pretty stacked and we're going to get into it right now so let's shut the hell up and buckle in and get into it man starting out first we have our first aew jazz wears adam copeland or edge figure will be in unmatched series 10 which is actually kind of crazy i'll get into why that's crazy here in a moment but this figure looks pretty solid. I am afraid that he's going to be too tall. He's using the same torso as Claudio or Cesaro here, it looks like. And I like the gear. I like the head sculpt. We've seen the sculpt in detail. I like the gear. The skulls and everything look pretty good. You know, Edge is always going all out on his gear. And I like this. It comes with the entrance vest and everything. I'm just afraid he's going to be too tall. We'll have to see about that once the figure is released. But it's a pretty solid first addition to the wave. You know, I think it would have been cool to see a chase figure. But I'm excited for the sculpt. We'll have to see exactly how it all plays out. But in render form, I like the red gear. I like everything going on. I believe this may have been his debut gear. Or did he debut in jeans? I want to say he debuted in some sort of street attire or something like that. But this may be his debut match. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it has the rated R era on the vest. Pretty decent looking Adam Co Copeland or Edge figure right here. We'll have to see again how it all plays out when it's in its entirety. But again, we have seen a prototype of this. We've seen the, you know, the, the just bare colors. And it looks pretty good for the most part. But that is our first figure in the wave. The next figure we have is going to be Kenny Omega. Now, I do feel like, I feel like we've seen the render of this figure forever. It's been a long time since we saw the initial render of this figure. You know, the delays and processes and everything like that is very frustrating for AEW action figure collectors. It would be much different if we were getting a lot of releases at a clip. But, you know, it, there's some things are out of our control, obviously, but... It is definitely frustrating for a collector, but this is from his matchup with Brian Danielson back in 2021, I do believe. I think it was September 2021 or something, and this figure being in the same wave as Edge when Edge didn't come until later is super crazy, but at least we are getting a brand new Kenny Omega. All of Kenny Omega's figures are the best. They really are the best figures that Jazzwares makes. I would put a tie between Kenny Omega and Darby Allin. The figures feel so good in hand. They articulate well. They are great likeness. They're very poseable. They are definitely the two best. My favorite figures to collect from Jazzwares and AEW are the Kenny Omegas and the Darby Allens. There's no in-between. They feel so good in hand. It's ridiculous. If you don't own a Kenny Omega or a Darby Allen from AEW and Jazzwares, you need to get on that. But this this attire is nice. I like the blue colors. It is a repeat head sculpt that we've seen a couple times before on some Supremes, but I don't have a huge issue with it. I think they both look really, really good, and I like it. I like this Kenny Omega. You could easily fix it up into a Supreme if you want to, but it is black. It's got the blue colors in there. It looks clean. It looks clean, and we'll have to see. I hope that it has some shininess to it and everything, and hopefully it has some reflective stuff going on, but he's also going to come with the AEW World Championship, so it's definitely something to note there. But we're moving on to the next figure in the set, and that is going to be Adam Cole. Now, this is sick because it's in his Owen Hart gear, and the pink looks so damn sick. We know that we're getting the Target exclusive Britt Baker action figure that is going to be very nice as well. It's the next pay-per-view edition, I think, and it's going to have the pink foil. It's got the pink gear, so you can match your Britt Baker in pink with your Adam Cole in pink, but the Unmatched Series 10 is going to be in the pink gear. Definitely one of my favorite Adam Cole gears he's ever worn. The only issue I have with the Adam Cole figures is I don't like the formula. I don't like this torso that they use. They use this torso on a few different guys, and I just don't think it works for Adam Cole necessarily. I think they make him too wide, and it does bother me about the Adam Cole figures, but I do like the gear here. I like the gear. You have like the boom or the Adam Cole head sculpt going on. You got the Owen Hart Cup Winner Championship with the 2022 on the belt too, so that just tells you right there that this belt was shown off in 2022 and it is 2024 we're just now getting the figure and this is just a render so it's not like the figures are in hand just yet so you know again delays in process definitely frustrating for the collectors there but the championship looks nice I'm always happy to add another championship to the collection and we do know with Britt Baker we're getting you know her championship as well I don't think those are the same I'm pretty sure it was two separate titles so we do have the pink gears right there to match but the Adam Cole looks sweet and he's also the chase variant which is going to come with the Adam Cole shirt that does it is going to be cloth goods so I'm sure he'll probably be wearing the shirt in the packaging he is going to be the chase one of five thousand so he is going to be in black and white very plain gear. It's just black and silver, black and gray there. Nothing to write home about. The, the, thank God the regular edition is the pink because, you know, we've already had two black gear Adam Cole figures. And so 
changing that up to this is going to be a lot better in my opinion having the pink be the regular edition compared to the chase variant being the black edition so then you don't have to worry about you know the the more colorful gear the better gear being the chase variant being harder to track down but one person would probably say oh i want the shirt now it's coming on the chase figure so you know it's it is what it is it would have been cool if the shirt came with both that probably would have been better but you know it is what it is they've done this in the past shirts coming with the chase variant rather than the regular edition so i have seen that before but adam cole is the next figure in the set we we also have a look at Kylo Riley, who's looking pretty good here. He is in black and silver. This is going to be our second Kylo Riley, if you include the Jazzwares Vault exclusive with the, you know, the throwback Adam Cole and Kylo Riley figures in the gray and green. And this is going to be another Kylo Riley, much later edition there. Got a good head sculpt on there. We have seen prototypes of this figure as well, just like Adam Copeland, just like Adam Cole. We are getting Kylo Riley here, which looks pretty decent. I like the gear, black and silver there. I like the kick pads a lot, how you have the O'Reilly in the gray and silver, giving me, you know, flashback NXT vibes there with it. But I like this gear you know i don't really care for the torso again these middle these medium size or these smaller guys that they are you know using this torso for just doesn't work in my opinion i think that it would look a lot better uh doing something different but that's just the nature of the AEW action figures you know like when you look at adam cole's torso and then you look at sammy Guevara's torso i think they need to make the adam cole torso the same width or size as a sammy Guevara torso just not as lean and cut i guess you could say or kenny omega they need to have the same width just not as cut and ripped i guess i don't know i'm just i'm just talking off the cuff trying to get my thoughts out there but the next figure in the set is going to be the Young Bucks. We have Matt and Nick Jackson here, and they look pretty good. This is going to be very similar to their Walmart exclusive edition figures in the blue foil that are hitting retail right now. And those figures are probably the best Bucks that they've made so far. But these might have, you know, a uh, play at that. They are going to come with the AEW World Tag Team Championships. But I like both of these figures. You know, Nick kind of with the grimacing face. I don't know. I, I do believe these are brand new head sculpts. You know, we won't probably know until we see them in person or we get a sculpt of some kind. But they definitely look similar to other ones. They don't have the I mean, they are new head sculpts. They just have similar expressions because you guys know on the Walmart exclusives, they have those beads going down in front of their faces. So no beads this time. They do have their headbands. They have chains in there, which look good. I like the orange sort of sunset style colors. We do have, you know, their, their kicks in there, which look good. I do enjoy the kicks that they had on their last ones. You know, they were their special edition Young Buck made shoes that were put on those Walmart exclusives, which were very cool. But I like that mold because you could repaint it or do some different stuff. And I really did enjoy those Walmart exclusive bucks. And now if you buy these, you could torso swap those and you could have, you know, no jackets on those figures instead of having to use old Young Bucks like we did in the review. You could actually put on you know, these torsos onto those Walmart exclusives and vice versa. But these pants are probably going to be screen printed. If you look at the back of the figures, you'll notice those different details of the images that are going to be on there. And they are the same sculpt. This looks to be the same sculpted pants and shoes that we saw in those Walmart exclusives. So it'll probably be the same lowers, just repainted or redone with different deco screen printed on there, like they've done with Kenny Omega, like they've done with the Young Bucks Walmart exclusive figures. Probably going to get all those details in there because it is screen printed on there, which will be a nice addition. That should be good. I'm excited for these Young Bucks. I'm always for Young Young Buck figures and Kenny Omega figures just because I enjoy the characters and enjoy their work. So it will be nice to have more and more figures of those guys. But the last figure in the set is going to be Brandon Cutler Rare, one of 3000 Unmatched Series 10. I feel like this is another figure that we've known about for so very long and we've never had it in our hands, you know. It is unfortunate that we have waited so long to get these figures, but again, hopefully the figure will be worth it when we see it. It's very colorful, which I like. I love the tracksuit that we have going on. It comes with really cool accessories. You have the camera, you have the spray can, you even have a a spray can hand it looks like that he can actually hold the can and make it look like he's spraying that is very unique as well and you could put that on multiple guys I don't think we've ever seen a spray can style hand where he's actually holding the can and spraying I don't think we've ever seen that from a wrestling figure company so that's pretty cool as well but I am excited for that I like the shoe details and all the colors going on should be a bright and colorful figure I know that we hate the chase variants but we've talked about this multiple times on the channel man it's very difficult to make figures that you know it's, it, you have to check both boxes and it's a very hard line to straddle or fence to straddle when you're trying to make enough for everybody that wants them but you can't overproduce them to the point where you know they will ride on shelves and everything like that but it is a difficult line to tow because if you put these guys in the main line there's oversaturated markets with it and they sit there and shelf warm but then if you you put them as the chase and then people complain that they're the chase and I understand both sides of it obviously there are definitely levels to this and you have to get over that but the entire wave is a pretty stacked wave AEW and Match Series 10 featuring the Young Bucks Kenny Omega Kyle O'Reilly Adam Copeland slash Edge and Adam Cole with the chase variant or the rare edition chase whatever you want to say is going to be Brandon Cutler 
and hopefully all these figures will be pretty decent when they all come to fruition but i think that's pretty much going to wrap the video man i'd love to know what your thoughts are on this entire wave i like every figure here you know in theory we'll have to see once they finally come out there's just some certain things kind of like when mattel releases some certain figures that you know you can already set in your mind you're like oh man i'm not gonna like that because of this you know a part choice a formula choice things like that so that does exist but i can still appreciate certain aspects of the figure similar to the adam cole situation right there love the gear and everything i just don't like the formula they use for him so there is that but anyway Anyways, man, huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellows over there. Thank you guys so very much for your support, man. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. But I appreciate all of you. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.